Hey, everybody. Now, I uh, was watching a video, and uh, I, I, I've been... <laughs> the funny thing is, like, I just started my channel about a year and a half ago, as most of you guys know. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I've been collecting this stuff for years. For years. And uh, I, I never thought that I'd be showing it on YouTube and that people would be interested in it. Uh, isn't that amazing, eh? But, uh, but I'll tell you something. This saw is so special. I did a tree job. I, there's a small, there's a small, I'm just bent down because I'm in the shop and those lights were bugging the heck out of me. And I'm not, I'm not, let me know if the lighting is better. Okay, because remember the few other videos I did, that light up there was just a bugger. I still got these, but I don't know if you guys can really, well, you might be able to see them, but I'm, I'm kind of, I'm trying to stay out of those lights, so I'll bet this is better. I'll bet this is better. Now, if I was to grab this, it would even be way better for me. Okay, so now, anyway, I'm just going to sit here and talk to you guys for a second. There. Now, hopefully, that light's not in your face. I hope it's not. Okay. Um, I, I love stuff as it is. I find it rusty, you know, and just and just leave it. That's just the way I like stuff. I've always liked it. I found it like that. It's antique. I leave it. I don't clean it up. I don't polish it. I don't nothing. But I'll tell you something. My thoughts have changed a little bit that way. Okay? Especially with certain pieces. And this saw... I'm so grateful and honored to own this saw. I did a tree job for some friends of mine. I've worked for them for well over 10 years. Well over 10 years. The first job I think I worked for them was close to 15 years ago. And a few in amongst. Um, well, the last time I was down there taking a, a big Arbutus apart for them, I, I, I was helping them and I was in the shop, in his little shop where his boy was working on his pedal bikes and that. And uh, he, he said to me, uh, I, I looked up on the wall and here, here was this ax. And, or pardon me, this, this cross cut, it's gorgeous. It's, it, it is, it is just, I, anyways, I, I mentioned that I, I just thought, wow, that is so rare and so cool. It's four foot guys. It's look at this, look at it. Now I'm just in the process of cleaning up. It's got some paint on it. Look at this. It's four foot. It's narrow. Do you know what I mean? Like here it's narrow. It's got the little sloop in it. Oh, <laughs> it's a beauty. It's got my, my favorite pattern of all. Four teeth and a raker, four teeth and a raker, duels together. It's just, the, in my mind, one of the best designs. Okay, and there's all kinds. Um, oh, I, I can't express, actually, how I feel about it. I can't, but I want to show you a couple things on it. Okay, I can't believe it. It, it, I, I think, oh yeah. Anyhow, I, I'm getting excited. Look at this. It's a Simons. Look at S I M O N D S Simons with a little insignia here. It's on the handles here. There it is again. Simons. Okay. So it's a Simons, but I just, I just ever so slightly with a little sanding block and a little bit of Mr. Liquid wrench. I just started to, because this gentleman, he worked for fisheries, okay? He found this when they were doing a creek run, way up the bush in, in, in the creek, and he found it in the bush. I just couldn't believe, you know, that he told me this, and, and then he gave it to me. Without an iota of, of anything, just here, Billy, right? Take, take, take this thing, Buck, and you, you, you like it? Take it. It just, boom. It, oh, I will cherish this. And Mr. Teddy, if you're watching this, know that you've, You've made me feel or somebody feel really good. And I, I will cherish this for the rest of my life and hand this down to my boy or my girl, whichever one. It, 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 it's so beautiful. Anyways, I'm rambling. Um, Simon something. You, can, can, you, can you see some of that stuff in there, guys, gals, women and children? I see. Say and uniformity company. Oh, my God. Godness. My good graciousness, I'm I'm blown, I'm blown away. Anyway, uh, this is probably a longer video than I than I thought, but I mind blowing. Wow, I just don't. Wow, 
Incredible. Simons. I'm blown away. Did I already say that? Look at this is um, and I'm I'm so excited. Anyways, I gotta take it easy on this thing because it's there. I'm gonna check the other side now. I'll turn you on in a minute. Okay, so it it's coming up. It's coming up really, really nice. And and that that this is just a beautiful, beautiful warranted Simon's care Montre Montreal Simons oh it's trademark um, oh Vancouver BC st. John's oh dear God this is an absolute it might even say a date down here oh I gotta keep going Oh, this is crazy. I'm finding the SOS is not really working, but this fine, this fine, fine um, sandpaper is quite nice. I just want to try and stay off the, oh yeah, see right here, I can see it. Bloom before, I'm sure you have, but it's there and, and you can probably see it glistening in the light. There, there it is there. It's like an old Western, uh, it is just beautiful I, I i don't know it it's old that's all i know it's old i gotta find out what the circa is on it company inc it's the simon's saw company inc it says vancouver bc st john's montreal <laughs> so i'm gonna actually flip the saw over now and i'm gonna i'm, I'm this is exciting Oh man, I'm excited. Isn't this neat? Oh, <laughs> can't believe it. Gives this to me. Here, Billy Ray. Ah. Thank you. If you like this, guys, this sort of thing, you know, I, I, I've, been, I've been collecting this stuff for years, for years and years and years. Uh, I've never, ever, ever thought that the people would be, you know, into this sort of thing so I never really paid too much attention to it but I mean there's another there's a there's another saw right there beautiful saw uh, with the wooden handles but you can you can know damn well I'm going in here with and I'm gonna find out what what you know there's one there there's another old one Th these weren't as exciting to me these old bucking saws you know the they, they, they just they weren't this was painted black when I got it so um, but there's some beautiful saws over here actually right in here they look like five and six footers yeah yeah see there's that's a buck and saw there's another buck and saw with a handle on it double handled it's it, they're, they're definitely buck and saws so um, matter of fact I think I'm gonna pull this one out right now and uh, have a look at this one and, and see if we can't find that's actually a really nice little saw that's a really nice little saw. That's a buck and saw. Now, this is another big buck and saw. This, this is, it looks like a six and a half, maybe a seven foot. This one here. Oh, guaranteed it is. Yeah. Yeah, this is a seven foot saw. Yeah. Now, you know the funny thing is, sorry guys for bouncing all around like that. Sorry about that. The funny thing is, is, I never ever thought to look and these are rusty I mean they are rusty so I'll take a poke at them but this has got the true the really nice old design that's an old saw that one but you know what else I've got I've got like I've got them all over I, I've got them I got them here I got them there here, here's here's one on my shed all right I mean here's one here that's rusty as hell again a bucking saw yeah, top, you know, the top, the flat. Um, yeah, and then I got another one over here. 
but none of them. So what I'm finding is that, don't leave home without one of those, raker gauge, power saw raker gauge, do not leave home without one. I don't care what your teeth and what kind of shape your teeth are in, <coughs> use one of those and you'll be back to, back to cutting. Isn't this interesting? That seems to be the right on size of the... Uh, um, look, look, look at the difference here. Th this is interesting. I'm just going to show you this from a little distance. Look at I mean, Let's put in the light. So, so here it is, the four footer. It is just spectacular. But look what a little bit, I'll take this handle off and do this whole thing. But I just kind of got onto this. I got, I got on and I just wanted to see some results just to see and, and show you guys. And I, I, there's lots of guys doing this. And uh, I know this is nothing new, but it sure is exciting for me, especially when you come across that. This saw, I, oh dear, dear Lord is all I can say. It, it, oh, wow. Okay, enough blubbering. Look at the difference of, that's what I wanted to show you. I got all goofy again. Look at, see here's the rust and here's non-rust. So it really does look a lot nicer. I just prefer, but this saw, this saw grants some work. It just does. So I'm going to leave that badge alone. That's about as good as I'm going to get now on that. You know what I mean? It just is. A little lubricating oil there. The badge ends right here. So so see, look at that. Oh, that comes up nice. Hadn't it, eh? <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That's all a guy really wants to do is just take the rust off. That's patina. You don't want to get her gleaming, shiny, you know? Like, like, you can overdo it in my mind, eh? You can overdo it. Just get the patina happening. Just get that rust off there is what I like to do. You know, like I said, I never used to really even do anything at all. I used to, it was the way it was, I left it the way it was, but I, this grants a nice bit of love, so we will do that. Thanks so much for, for hanging around this, uh, this episode of the adventures of Buck and Billy Ray, Crosscut Saw Restoration. Wow. Not just any saw is going to get this treatment. This is a special saw, so that's why I'm doing this and sharing it with you. Simon's. Top, top notch company back in the day, top notch. So pretty tickled, over and out. See you in the trees.